So this video is an introduction to what we call the hailstone sequence. And before we get into what makes it a hailstone sequence, uh, we first want to talk about the word sequence here. And the sequence is just a series of numbers that follows some sort of pattern or order. Um, for example, if we wanted the series of even numbers, we'd talk about 2, 4, 6, 8, etc. Um, we could start a sequence with 1 and add 3 every time. And we could keep going and going and going. Um, and the hailstone sequence is a sequence like this, except the rules are a bit more complicated than just every even number or uh, start with one and add three. Um, so let's take a look at a cloud. This is meant to be a cloud. And during um, a storm, rain falls from the cloud. But also, potentially, depending on the strength of the storm, hailstones form. Um, and I'm not sure if you've ever heard how hailstones form. But they start out as a little tiny ice crystal in the cloud. And it gets blown by the wind up higher into the cloud until it reaches a certain weight, and then it starts to fall. And then it gets caught by the wind again, and it goes up and down and up and down and up and down, over and over and over, and maybe back here, whatever it is, until it reaches the point where it is just too heavy, and it falls. And that is how we get hail. Um, a raindrop that just freezes and gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then falls. So that's how we create hailstones. And the sequence is called the hailstone sequence because often the set of numbers looks like this. It goes up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down, maybe way, way, way up and way, way down until finally it settles where we want it to be. Um, so unlike those first two sequences, though, where it's a very simple idea of it's every even number or add three to one and keep going, um, the hailstone sequence is what's called a conditional sequence. And something that's conditional just depends on something else. Um, and so there are two things involved with the hailstone sequence. We're going to pick a number to start with, and we're going to do one of two different things. If the number is even, we're going to divide it by two. Oh, not number two. We're going to divide by two. Um, and that's fairly simple. If it's even, you divide it by two. If it's odd, however, we're going to take our number. Let's say the number that we start with is x. We're going to change the number by multiplying it by three and adding one. So if it's even, we divide it by two. If it's odd, we multiply by 3, then add 1. And so let's take a look at how this all plays out by starting with the number 5. Well, the number 5 is odd. So since 5 is odd, I'm going to multiply it by 3 and add 1. And that's 16. So the next number in the sequence is 16. Now we start with 16 and we say, what is 16? Well, 16 is even. So we take 16, we divide it by 2, and we get 8. 8 is also even, so we're going divide it, to divide it by 2 and get 4. 4 is also even, so we're going to divide it by 2 and get 1, or divide it by 2 and get 2, rather. 2 is even, so we're going to divide it by 2 and get 1. And now 1 is odd. So we're going to take 1, and we're going to multiply it by 3, and add 1, and get 4. Now 4 is even again, and we're back to the same number in the sequence that we were before. This is where our sequence stops, because if we just keep going with 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 times 3 plus 1 is 4, and it will just keep going over and over and over and over and over again. This is called the hailstone sequence. So if we start with 5, the hailstone sequence for 5 is 5, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Those are the numbers, because 5 is odd, so we multiply it by 3 and add 1. Then we divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, and then we make it back to 4. Once we make it back to the same number that we had before, we can stop. Let's take a look at the same thing with 3. So we're going to start with 3. 3 is odd. I actually better make this green because that's been our color for odd numbers so far. 3 is odd. 
Now if we take 3 times 3, which is equal to 9, and add 1, we get 10. So the next number in the sequence is 10. Take 10 divided by 2, because 10 is even, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So the next number is 5. 5 we know is odd, so 3 times 5 plus 1, all that together becomes 16. 16 is even, divided by 2 is 8, divide 8 by 2 is 4, divide 4 by 2 is 2, divide 2 by 2 you get 1, 3 times 1 plus 1 is equal to 4, and here we are back at 4 again. So the hailstone sequence for 3, starting with any number, we create the next number by just following one of those two rules, is 3, 10, 5, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. And that's where that stops. Um, so again, the hailstone sequence, also known as the Collatz sequence, um, you just create a series of numbers. If the number is odd, you multiply it by 3 and add 1, and then you get an even number. So if it's an even number, you divide it by 2, and then just depending on what number you get to next, you just follow either the even rule or the odd rule until the sequence repeats itself somewhere. So what you're going to do is start on your own and start with the numbers 11, 15, 7, and 9, um, and see what you can do about um, continuing with the sequence, seeing when it repeats itself or when it stops or what's going on there.